All right, YouTube, let's talk about making money. So you've already seen my last videos. You've seen my uh, recent videos. You've seen, hopefully you've seen the video I just posted today about the Jordan, the Michael Jordan 11 Space Jam shoe that I found at Goodwill for eight bucks. It retails from anywhere. You can sell a used one for a hundred bucks easy. Uh, they sell on GOAT and uh, StockX for about 200, 230. Um, so anyways, let's talk about profit. Let's talk about making money. Okay, you see my last video. You've already heard me talk about the Space Jam shoe. Let's talk about shoes and let's talk about making money. All right? See, because I have a full-time job and as you know, and as I've talked about, um, I have a side job selling shoes, restoring shoes, cleaning shoes, repairing shoes, painting shoes, customizing shoes, all of it in a nutshell, okay? Now, the reselling used shoes kind of goes hand in hand with the restoring and repairing shoes. For me, it does, because I'm not always gonna find mint condition shoes that are bright white and completely clean and still used that just doesn't happen okay so and if and if and since you're getting them that way you're not going to want to sell them that way because they won't really sell either they won't sell or people are going to lowball you and offer you a little bit of money because they have scratches, they're dirty, there's dirt on them, they're not white, okay? So let's talk about how I've made money, okay? I got into this on an accident by selling, I had at least 20 shoes at the house, maybe 15, 20 shoes, okay? Nikes, Adidas, all that. Shoes that I've had for a long time that I wasn't really wearing. I don't, I can't really afford to buy new shoes because I'm on a low budget and I take care of my family and that's what's most important. So I don't buy expensive shoes. I used to, when I was in my twenties, about 10, 15 years ago, I bought Jordans. I have not bought a brand new pair of Jordans in probably like 15 years since I was in my twenties. Okay. Besides the point, let's get to the making money. Okay. Um, I got into it because of the Facebook marketplace. That's my biggest secret here. Um, yes, you can sell it on apps, StockX and Go and et cetera, so on and so forth. But uh, Facebook marketplace is where you can buy and sell good shoes. I buy some occasionally, then resell them. Uh, I usually buy shoes to sell. I rarely find shoes that I just have to keep. And that's my problem. Sometimes I just want to hold on to them. Um, that would be your problem. I try not to get any sentimental feelings towards these shoes. Um, I saw a lady the other day selling Facebook, uh, selling shoes on Facebook that I used to have. They stopped making them after 2005. I used to have in my 20s. Somebody broke into my apartment, stole all my shoes. I had like, I don't know, 10, 15 pairs of Jordans back then when I was in my 20s. And they're very rare. They're very rare. So when I seen them for going for 40 bucks, I really had to have them just for myself. Anyways, we're talking about making money. So the first thing you want to do is it goes hand in hand with cleaning the shoe, repairing the shoe. That helps you make money. The second thing is you don't want to, sorry for the wiggleness, I am driving, I'm about to stop. If y'all complain, I'm sorry. Anyways, clean them up. Second, don't get any sentimental values, feelings and attachment towards these shoes, even if you really like them or start to like them, okay? They're used shoes, they're just a pair of shoes, you can always find more. Try to just get in and get out. Try to get them just for making money, okay? And that's what I did in the beginning. I, I, I found the Facebook uh, uh, marketplace area and I realized that you can post stuff and sell stuff. So once I realized how easy it was and you meet people up and sell things, I was hooked, okay? I stumbled upon it and I got hooked. 
all right once i sold all my used stuff that i was not using hurt my feet they were too flat i just didn't like them anymore i never wore them for years okay then i was hooked i sold and i made over a thousand dollars in a little less than uh three weeks about two in the time frame of two to three weeks so less than a month i made over a thousand dollars um after i made a couple of hundred bucks off of selling some used shoes i didn't know i could do it and i didn't think it was possible but i did it after i made a couple of hundred bucks i was like you know what why don't i see how much how far i can take this how how long i can you know how much i can make off of this let's let's keep going so I kept going. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set a goal at a thousand. Well, after uh, another week, really quickly after that, I met that goal and got to a thousand and made more. I did sell other things like rims. I cleaned them up, sold them so I can get new rims for my car. I sold everything. Uh, the biggest brands you wanna look out for, Jordans and Nikes. Jordans, Nikes, and Adidas's. Yeezys I would stay away from because there's too many fakes out there. Okay? Too many fakes out there. Jordans are pure money and uh, Nikes, okay? That's what gets you money and Adidas, all right? So I've sold uh, I've sold a lot of shoes. Polo boots, Nikes, Converse's, even brands you wouldn't think of, Vans. I've sold women's high heels. Those are very bad on the market. Don't invest in buying high heels for women. Women are very particular. They don't just wear anything. They don't like used shoes, okay? And high heels aren't worth that much. Uh, so don't do that. Don't make that mistake. I would say stay away from women's shoes and stay away from Yeezys, definitely, because there's too many fakes and it's not worth it, in my opinion. But you can do whatever you want. Jordans and Nikes and Adidas, that's where the money is. You want to spend at least 20. Anything less than 20 is a is a damn good deal. Like I bought them Jordans Space Jams for eight bucks today. If you go to Goodwill and find some Jordans, you better get those, even if they're a little dirty. You can clean them up. Um, anything under that is fucking good. Now an investment would be 20, 30, 40 bucks. If you are spending 50 and 60, you better be damn sure you're gonna make uh, you're gonna make at least 80 to 100 bucks or at least 70 bucks off of them. You make at least t go from $10 profit because hey, what does it matter that you you paid for something but you got $10 back when you resold it? It's profit, but you want to make more than just 10 bucks. If if that's all you can squeeze, then that's what you can get and you got money back. You, you at least want to make your money back and then some to get profit. If you can make double your money, like let's say I pay for a shoe that's 20 bucks and then I resell it for 60 or 80, I'm doubling my money and getting profit. That's what you want to do. That's what I've done. I've sold everything, polo boots, vans, all kinds of fucking shoes. And Jordans are the best. I've gone to uh, flea markets, uh, pawn shops, Goodwill, I found Jordans at all those places. Cheap, used, clean them up, resell them, post them on the Facebook app. This is my secret. It ain't no secret because other people are posting about it, so I'm posting about it. Make you some money. You got used shit in your house. You got a whole bunch of stack of shoes, a whole stack of clothes. Sell it. Hats, sell it. I've sold hats, clothes, shirts and shoes get rid of that old junk and resell it on facebook or wherever else you want to sell it at i've picked up people's trash a damn dresser a chest box that somebody put out by their trash can they didn't want anymore picked it up put it on facebook fucking turn around and sold it a couple of hours later so even trash anything you can sell and make money off of this is 2020 I mean, welcome to the new age of making money. It's right there. Take good pictures of it. That's what matters. Jordans, sell any size Any size that really, kid size will go cheaper. Adult size is more. 
Um, there you go. That's what I've been doing. That's what you can do. And just make that money.